What's up guys? Sea House Living here and I'm here. I'm gonna do an unboxing of a Baby Leto Origami Mini Crib. Um, it's something that we've seen online a couple times. It's something that we've been wanting to get because it looks like it's something that would fit in our apartment because our apartment's actually very very small. It's about um, 800 square feet total. So not a whole lot of space but um, it's something we decided to get. Basically we're hoping that if the size of it and the fact that it's portable is going to be able to help us out and all this stuff. So now this video is just going to be an unboxing video. Um, I can't do a total review on it because right now I'm getting the nursery ready so I don't have everything I need to make the review you know the baby's not here yet either so that that's a big help that's we're gonna need her to, to review that for us um, but other than that let's get this started all right so when you first get your your crib here it's gonna come in a box it says I come bearing gifts <laughs> But uh, here, I'll show you guys the information on it so you guys can see it. It is the, this is the number M6698LG Origami Mini Crib Lagoon. It's supposed to be like a teal color, like a really like blue-green kind of color. Um, and there's just some information on that there. Don't know if you guys even need that, but basically this is the box you get right from the beginning. So this is, looks like the mattress that's going to come with this, which I heard about on the reviews actually. So we ended up ordering another mattress, but um, as you can tell, this is like really, really, really thin stuff. This is, doesn't seem like the most comfortable, but I mean, it seems like firm enough where I would put my baby on it, but I don't think she'd be totally comfortable on it. But yeah. I mean, that's what it comes with. That's the mattress we got that comes with this with this product. That's what you get. So, let's keep going. The directions, you know. You need those. This piece right here, you can tell is the bottom of the crib. It looks like this is right here. This is where you're going to pull. At least from what I've seen. But yeah. So it's all white when you get it. <clears throat> Even if you get the lagoon, it's an all white. It's a nice shiny finish to it. It's pretty nice. Nice stuff. These are just some, I'm assuming brackets and stuff we're gonna put together with this thing. So there's that. Comes with wheels we got the wheels here <clears throat> so so these are the end brackets that come with this this will be what's at the end of the crib it's like at the end of it yeah it's a nice color though I like the color what do you guys think it's a nice color we're gonna figure out how this uh, goes together momentarily. Let's put, let's get the rest of the stuff out of the box. There's another one. Same piece, another side. It's a box of hardware. These look like the side rails. Now, it really is, it doesn't look that big compared to this. Like, I mean, I don't know, I guess compared to me, it's kind of small. But that's kind of like, kind of what we wanted though. We wanted something kind of small. So, we'll find out. Let's keep going.
clean piece again. So in the box, we got two pieces right here. These are the side pieces here. And then we have two of those, which are basically the ends that are gonna go on each end of here. And then we have the, the bottom piece where the mattress is gonna go. And then we have a mattress. And then we also have miscellaneous hardware, wheels, and some other brackets. Um, and yeah, let's start putting this thing together. So the first part of the instructions is to set these up, which I'm sure is basically where the mattress foundation is gonna set. Um, if you do have a problem with this, I had a little problem where the paint from the factory looks like it was into in the hole, so it wasn't threading right. So we basically just had to just be careful and go slow. But other than that, I mean, that's pretty much how it's gonna go. Keep going. Oh, and before I forget, the only tool you needed, aside, it brings everything except for a screwdriver. So when you do have to put this together, all you're gonna need is a screwdriver. At least that's what the instructions say. We'll find out in a little bit. On the next instructions, it wants me to put this piece on this piece. Now, these two pieces are the same, except one of them is gonna have the two holes for it. So you're gonna know which piece, which piece of these this is gonna get screwed into. It's the only one with the extra two holes on the bottom. And I'm assuming that's gonna be for when you put the bed in and it can, uh, it can rest on the thing. We're gonna So now the instructions do say to have two people on it, but I'm riding solo right now. So what I did was you have to put dowels on this piece right here. You're gonna put two wooden dowels. I can kind of separate it to show you. And then um, basically what I did was I put the dowels in, into the piece, and then I laid it down and then I put the smaller pieces on top of it by just trying to line up this hole here with that hole right there. So you can do it by yourself, in a sense. Then you can just fold these back, and then you have this. Alright, just to show you guys, once it's up, you can put these dowels in right here. And then that's how I got it to to match up. So, you can kind of get one side going, and then it'll hold up, and then you can screw it in. It's a pretty uh, decent technique for it, I guess.
okay guys well here's the final product i mean it looks really good i like it um let's see if i can get some measurements for you guys here so from the floor from the floor all the way to the top it's about three feet three feet exactly and then we'll get the you're looking at a little at about from end to end it's about three inches well three feet three inches which isn't too bad and then this way look at about 26 so about two feet two inches about what you got there um really not bad it's kind of fancy i kind of like it so the board inside is what keeps it really really stable like if i wanted to pull this out if i want to pull this out it actually rests on that piece in there there's nothing else that slides on it it's just wood and uh, that one piece that holds it and then pretty much right from there this is pretty pretty limbo pretty pretty like you know weak but once you put this on here Here we go. Once you got that on there, it's firm. It's very firm. You can move this anywhere. It sits anywhere. It's gonna. It's a nice one for sure. It rolls decently smooth. It's not like it's perfect, right? It's not gonna be perfect. But for the price, I don't think it's too bad. So this is a view I wanted to test this out in the first place. I wanted to see if it fit through a door, and it does. I got a lot of space. I got about. Maybe two inches that way and another two inches here. I mean, it's a regular regular door and it fits nice and smooth in it. So that's something we're really going to enjoy when the baby's here. We can just pull it out and there it is. But yeah, it looks good. I like it. Well, when the baby comes up, we'll give you guys a review. Um, but right now it's just an unboxing and kind of the general lowdown. Okay guys, well I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was just a quick unboxing video and uh, I try to give you guys as much information as I could but if you have any questions just leave them in the comments. I can reply to those um, and let me know if you guys like the video. Just like it and uh, yeah, I'm going to probably be coming out with a little bit more content. Let me know if you guys want to see more or what you guys want to see unboxings of and I can, you know, I'll make something happen and uh, yeah, this is it. Hope you guys enjoyed. You guys get the review later. As soon as she's born, we'll get a review for you guys. Have a good one, guys.